One way to perform advanced searching in the CINAHL is by using MESH. MESH stands for Medical Subject Headings. These are terms that are already prescribed and which you can choose from to formulate a search. Since they are already determined, you cannot alter MESH terms. When you look at the full record for any result, you will see MESH terms that are assigned to that article. With our search of urinary tract infections, catheters, and prevention, you can see the MESH terms that relate to those keywords. When you click on the article title, you'll be taken into the full record, and you can see under the major subject section of the record the MESH headings. These terms are links, so when you click on them, you'll actually be brought to an entirely new result list. The difference between keyword searching and the subject heading searching is where the database is looking for your search terms. In a keyword search, the database is looking for your search terms anywhere where they may occur. So they are looking in the title, in the authors, in the source, the journal title, um, the abstract, in the full text if it is available. In subject heading searching, the database is only looking for the terms in one section of the record, which is the subject heading section. Subject headings are assigned based on article content, which makes using them an efficient way to find focus results. To construct a MeSH heading search, you can follow the CINAHL headings link at the top of the database page. The CINAHL headings link allows you to browse for a subject heading that will match your keyword. Since you are browsing for a subject term, using single terms or short phrases is usually best. Let's begin with an overall topic of catheters and urinary tract infections. In the browse box, I'm just going to enter the term catheter. You can click on browse or hit enter, and the list of subject terms will appear. You want to look for the term that most closely matches your keyword. Sometimes there will be an exact match, sometimes there will not be, and you can choose something that closely relates to it, or you're still able to search your term as a keyword using the box down here. In this case, I'm going to check the box that says urinary tract infections catheter related. When you check the box beside the mesh heading, you will see over to the right that a list of subheadings appears for that specific mesh heading. If you are interested in the prevention and control of urinary tract infections that were catheter related, you can check mark the subheading Prevention and Control. Checking the box next to the subheading attaches it to the main subject heading. After choosing your terms, the search that the database will perform appears on the far right side of the screen. You will also see the options to either explode your search or treat your search as a major concept. The explode option allows any narrower terms under the chosen subject heading to be searched as well. To see what narrower terms there may be, simply click on the subject heading and a tree will appear. In this case, our chosen subject term is already a narrow term under the catheter-related infections. There are no other narrower terms, so we don't have to choose the explode option. 
The major concept box ensures that the subject terms chosen are the major focus of the retrieved results. So let's go ahead and check mark the major concept box. To run this search, simply click on the search database button. After the database runs the search, you'll get the results back. And again, the difference is that you are using a subject heading search and not a keyword search. So we have 76 results where the major concept of the article is the prevention and control of urinary tract infections that are catheter related. If you still want to refine your search, you can use the column on the left to limit your results to full text, to academic journals by date, and so on. For more videos on how to search the databases and basic library services, please visit the How-To Videos link on the library homepage.